Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video, I'm the host Deeper Jungle and today I will be doing a video and that's going to be why if the warfare failed or why it was not as successful as other Call of Duty games. So in this video I'm not going to be talking about why I may or may not like Infinite Warfare, in my own opinion I like Infinite Warfare, I think it's a pretty good Call of Duty game, I may not have as much play time as I did in like Black Ops 3, but I think it's a pretty good Call of Duty game nonetheless. In this video I'm just going to be looking at some objective things that made Infinite Warfare not as successful and some things that might have turned off some people of actually buying the game and this is nothing against infinite warfare i'm just going to be looking at some of the things that maybe infinity war can improve upon on the next call of duty game so yeah and if you are enjoying this video don't forget to leave a like let's see if we can get five likes on today's video that would be absolutely amazing and yeah let's get right into it now the first reason why i think infinite warfare was not successful and that's going to be from the marketing now marketing this has really nothing to do with the game however i really think that infinite warfare's marketing wasn't really as good if you think about it all the things were Infinite Warfare's marketing as in like the beta everything like that came after September and that was actually okay however it wasn't as good as let's say Black Ops 3's because if you actually remember Black Ops 3's marketing it was very dynamic you know you had the snap traps of Dr. Salem saying all these like weird things and you had to puzzle them and see like what they actually mean as well as fake Twitter accounts that have like that tweet out some of the weirdest things like the darkness shall come again or something weird like that and it was really neat because Call of Duty community was trying to put their head together about what this actually meant and I thought that that was really neat as opposed to Infinite Warfare they tried a very traditional approach as in like with the older Call of Duty games it's really what happened with Infinite Warfare's marketing you know you get the trailer then you get some other trailers of like campaign gameplay at like E3 things like that and then like August or September there's just the multiplayer reveal and then now they actually have the beta however that was okay however it just made it so that there was not that much hype generated about the game I mean if you think about it there was the trailer in May and then we had some E3 gameplay and then it wasn't until Call of Duty XP in September it wasn't until then that we actually started to see like multiplayer gameplay and actual leaks coming to Infinite Warfare but that means it wasn't until about a month or two before Infinite Warfare coming out that we actually started to get legitimate leaks and actual gameplay and that was a very stark contrast to Black Ops 3 because with Black Ops 3 we were able to play the multiplayer game as opposed to Infinite Warfare at the same time we didn't even see multiplayer gameplay and this really caused for there to be not that much hype for the game and buds so I think this might have been one of the reasons why Infinite Warfare was not as successful and really not had that many people really excited for the game. Alright now the next reason why I think Infinite Warfare might not have been as successful and that's going to be there actually wasn't really that much change coming to Infinite Warfare. If you think about a lot of the things that Infinite Warfare has really start in Black Ops 3 I mean the specialists as well as the wall running and the movement system that really came from Black Ops 3 and the problem was there wasn't really any anything that new that was going to be coming to Infinite Warfare that hasn't really been seen in either Advanced Warfare or Black Ops 3. Now this is not to say that there's nothing new in Infinite Warfare, just some really major things that made Black Ops 3 and Advanced Warfare original. There was nothing really like that in Infinite Warfare. And that's one of the main reasons why I think Infinite Warfare was not as successful. Alright now my number one thing why I think Infinite Warfare was not as successful as some other Call of Duty games and that's going to be just sheer bad timing. And frankly I feel kind of bad for Infinite Ward. For the last two Call of Duty games, they had really bad timing. If you think about it, Infinite Warfare isn't that bad of a game. It's pretty fun, however, it just came out at the time when a lot of people didn't want any more futuristic Call of Duty games. If let's say this game came out in 2014, a lot of people would have really liked it, liked how a lot more people liked Advanced Warfare. And frankly, it's not really Infinity War's fault. When they actually originally made the game, they didn't know how good the futuristic Call of Duty setting was actually going to be. So they made this game as if Advanced Warfare in Black Ops 3 a lot of people really like those settings. So it's really hard to blame Infinity Ward for this because by the time that a lot of people stopped liking the futuristic setting, by that point Infinite Warfare was already about a year and a half in development so they couldn't turn back. And those are really my reasons why I think Infinite Warfare was not as successful as some other Call of Duty games. And again, not to say that Infinite Warfare is a bad game by any means, these are just some objective things that I have noticed about why I believe Infinite Warfare may not have sold as well as well as a lot of people may not like Infinite Warfare. Warfare. So yeah, comment down below your thoughts on this video as well as why you think Infinite Warfare may not have been as successful as some of the older Call of Duty games. So yeah, that has really been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please remember to leave a like as well as subscribe if you are new. We are getting pretty close to 250 subscribers so if you would like to click that subscribe button for that reason, it would be greatly appreciated. So that has really been it for this video and I hope to see you in the next one.